All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakan Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. And shalom to the hopeful elect. And today's lesson is uh, we give all praises and honor to you, the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Shai. That's why we say all praises, all call a law, you law, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. And as you can see on the screen, he has this. You know this newborn baby. You know as his mother uh, sings. You know this has uh, been circulating uh, uh, throughout the, the you know the internet scene or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I pulled it up. Um, it's been on uh, YouTube, I guess, about eight months or whatever. So this is not a, uh, a new video. It's just been circulating uh, recently. So, uh, we're going to get into the actual video, and we'll come back with a few precepts, uh, Lord willing, this is just a quick, you know, uh, video uh, to let you know um, that we are the people, you know, we are the chosen, man, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, we are the chosen people. You know, there is no other nation of people that give glory and honor, you know, to the Heavenly Father and the Son, man. Like our people do, okay? So, let's get uh, into the video. We'll come back with a, maybe two to three precepts. And Lord willing, it's edifying and, and, and to help to feed the flock, you know? So, let's get into it. All of the glory belongs to you. Oh, yeah. All of the glory belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Oh, my word. You deserve it. Say all of the glory belongs to you. Yes, Lord. All of the glory belongs to you. Thank you, Jesus. My. Now you can see, you know, she, you know, she's in the church, you know. Because she calling upon the wrong name, okay? But uh, the the actual thing is that, you know, our people, you know, have a zeal. You know, the, the zeal of the Spirit of the Heavenly Father. But, you know, uh, we have been taught, you know, by the so-called white man, uh, uh, which is Esau Edom of the Bible, which is known as the wicked man. You know, the devil of the Bible. When we say devil, you know, that goes into uh, being deceived, the deceiver. Because uh, the so-called white man has deceived the whole earth, you know, but not by his own means, but by the means of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So our, our Lord and our Heavenly Father allowed this wicked uh, uh, beast to have, uh, you know, uh, the dominion in the earth so he controls it you know on the left hand side you know that's uh yeah what yahweh bashim yahweh shai has uh ordered man you know and you know uh to get an understanding of the scriptures you know it's always dealing with a balance you know with uh the lord is always a balance uh you know uh spirit man you know, it's the left hand and the right hand side, you know. Okay, so uh, let's get into this first precept. This is, uh, I got this queued up. This is Romans uh, 10 and 2. It says, for I bear, bear them, well, let's start at 1. It says, brethren, my heart desire and pray to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. See, Israel is who? 
Israel is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see, from, uh, come from the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob's name was changed to Israel. So that's where we get uh, being the Israelites are, okay? And Israel had 10, uh, 12 sons, see? You see, from uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, uh, Simeon, uh, Zebulon, uh, uh, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, and Issachar. Man, so with all with all of those sons come nations, man, or nations of people, man. You know, the scripture also explains that we will be a nation uh, like the sand of the sea. You see. So uh, let's get into this next precept. Uh, next precept is uh, the book of Psalms. You know, we're going to stay into how the, 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 the name is very important. You know, so, you know, our Savior or our Lord, is his, not, his name is not uh, uh, Jesus, man. You see? Uh, 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 his name is Yahweh Shai. You know, you definitely have to do some research and you know, the, you know, and, and have faith in this name, man. Okay. So, um, you know, what? Uh, you know, I was. It was been. It's been about a year ago. You know, I was coming from my daughter's house, and and I seen about three deers. Three, three deers. They were together. You know, they was. You know, uh, uh, I guess they come from out of the woods or whatever, and. And I yelled out the uh, window, like, talking to the deer, you know, because, you know, the scriptures also say we'll be in league with the beast. Okay? The beast of the field. And and I asked the deer, I said, you know the name of the Heavenly Father? He how about Shimei Abishai? And one of the deers gave me a nod, like, up and down, like, yes. You know? They knew, man. You see? Is the Most High is the Creator of, of all things, man. You know, of the heavens and the earth and everything that dwell in them, including the seas. Okay. Uh, this is Psalms thir uh, one thirteen and uh, verse two. Well, we can start at one. It says, "Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord Yahweh. Praise the name of the Lord Yahweh." You see, it's in all caps, it's, it's going into the name of your house, man. So let's look at it. This is, this is the blue letter. Uh, it says, O ye, your house, man. So we're going to get, uh, this is the Greek. They're going to let him. Strong's H3050. Yach. Yach. And, you know, you hear a lot of that on, uh, you know, throughout social media, you know, uh, but, you know, but uh, uh, through, you know, digging and, and, and going into different, uh, hi the, the history of the name, man, you know, the, like the, uh, I think it's the, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the, the, uh, the, what is it, the, the tomb, uh, the Moab tomb, uh, I can't, what's the name of it, uh, Lord willing her to come back to me, uh, but the tomb is, is, is going into the Hebrew where the Moab had so-called defeated, you know, Yahweh Bashim Shai, and it has our Lord's name on there, you know, in the ancient Hebrew, and, uh, but yeah, it's called a Moabite stone, that's what it is, Salaki. Uh, uh, the by Shimei Abishai, you know. So uh, let's get back to the precept. Uh, uh, this is verse two, Psalms one thirteen and verse two. It says, "Blessed be the name of the Lord Yahweh for this time, forth and forevermore." You see, you got definitely have to have the name, man. The Lord's name is Yahweh, and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, 
And it says, verse 3, it says, For the rising of the sun, of the sun, and to the going down of the same, the Lord's name, Yahweh, is to be praised, man. <laughs> you know, and that's what you're seeing, man. As this baby boy, man, holds his hands up, man, giving all praise and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh The spirit is in him, man. Okay? Now, if you read the scriptures, man, it'll, it'll tell you to how, uh, you know, that uh, it comes, a, a spirit never dies, man. It goes back to the Heavenly Father. But the body actually dies, but, you know, the spirit never dies. It's a consuming uh, uh, energy, man. Okay? So, uh, we're going to get one more last precept and uh, we, uh, call it. Uh, uh, we're going to wrap it up from there. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right, this is Proverbs um, 8, uh, 18 and 10. Okay. It says, uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run it into it, and it's safe. And we definitely need this strong tower, man, uh, you know, in the day and time that we're in, you know. You know, with us, uh, you know, you know uh, double thinking ourselves and not going with the spirit on what we should do. You know, throughout these times in the in, in, in the year of hastening and of our Lord, which is the year 2021, you know, which is going to actually be worse than uh, the year 2020, man, you know. Uh, you know, you Israelites, which I'm talking to you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, want this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, captivity to continue on, man, but... The Most High said he would give us uh, rulership of the nations, man. He would give us rulerships of the nations. And so once this captivity goes down, uh, wait a minute, that got me thinking of this one uh, precept that goes with that, and that's the book of, uh, uh, I believe that's, uh, what book is that? It's in the Apocrypha. I believe it's the second edge is two. Uh, let's see. Uh, but yeah, man, it's just uh, uh, second edge is six. And as we can start at verse eight. Well, we start at seven. That says, then, this is that, this is Edge just talking. It says, then, Answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the of the times? And this is going into uh, you know, the downfall of the rulership of, of the wicked. So Ezra is asking the angel, you know, when will be, you know, the parting asunder of the times, meaning when will we get the kingdom back? You know what I'm saying? Me, we as uh, you know as a fellow brother, uh, an, an Israelite, you know, because Israel, the Israelites will actually get the dominion over the earth under our Lord, Yahweh Shah, where his name would be, man, uh, you know made, known, made known then, you know, so it won't be, you know, the Christians, uh, the so-called Baptist church uh, calling upon uh, uh, some other name, man, some, some Greek name uh, uh jesus as they, as they call him you know which is a, a so-called white man you see that's that's the uh, edomites uh that's their savior but our savior is a, is a so-called black man from the tribe of judah man okay it says then answered i and said what shall be the pardon of son of times or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followed. And he said unto me from Abraham I, and to Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob 
Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, which is Esau's ruler now. So the end of this world will be, be you know, will be taken down by Jacob. And it says, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So Jacob will have dominion over the earth, man, under our Lord and Savior, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. You see? Hey, and, uh, you know, like I said, I didn't want this to be a, a long, you know, video. Uh, I'm believing they give me my, my page back. You know, this is my second strike on, uh, on my, uh, my, uh, my, my main page, you know, and I had to make a second page, so, you know, it, uh, it is what it is, you know, because it'll be a time where they have, uh, uh, where they're going to implement this, uh, uh, famine of the world. It's, a, it's prophesied that it'll be a, a famine of the word, and the famine of the word is, is meaning that, you know, they, they take all of this uh, internet thing down, you know, this YouTube thing will be over and done with, you see, but, you know, you know, the, the, that mean the work could be done, you know, when they uh, take us off the street corners from uh, prophesying and, and doing the work over, you know, on the internet, man, you know, I don't know exactly how they're going to actually do it, but, you know, the devil is always at work, man, so, you know, that's why you definitely have to stay and, uh, you know, study as well as pray, okay? That's 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 a, a main thing that you have to do, man, okay? And that's, and uh, hey, we are in beautiful times, even though, you know, a lot of people don't understand, you know, how uh, these things are, are, are playing out, man, but they're playing out the way uh, Yahweh Bashimi Abshai wants, wants, wants it to play out, man. Okay, so, hey, Lord willing, it was an edifying lesson. You know, um, we want to give all praises and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone for teaching us this truth. Amen. Shalom to the whole full leg. Okay. <laughs>